This is Mrs. K here, and today we're going to talk about photosynthesis. Um, you may have wondered how plants get their food, and they get their, th their food through a process called photosynthesis. Plants don't eat. You'll never see a plant going out and eating a hamburger. Um, instead, they make their own food using the process called photosynthesis. So plants actually use sunlight to make their food, and so they don't actually have to go and eat it themselves. So photosynthesis is the process plants use to get their food. Um, there's some things that go in for photosynthesis, we call those our ingredients, and then the things that come out of photosynthesis are called our products. Three things go in for photosynthesis. We have three ingredients, sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. Um, remember our scientific notation for water is H2O, and for carbon dioxide it's CO2. So you need to have sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide in order to make uh, the food for plants. And the food for plants is actually sugar. Okay, so when we combine our sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide, we end up making sugar and oxygen gas. Um, the scientific notation for sugar is C6H12O6. It's because um, this particular sugar, or glucose, has six carbons, 12 hydrogens, and six oxygens. So the products of photosynthesis is sugar and oxygen gas, and oxygen gas is also known as O2. So sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide go in, and we're making, okay, we're changing it, that's what our arrow means, we're changing those things into glucose and oxygen gas. And it's great for us because not only can we get sugar from plants, we can also get oxygen gas, which we need in order to breathe. Photosynthesis happens inside of a leaf. Okay, not the roots. The roots don't get any sun, but the leaf. If you zoom into the leaf, you'll see that the leaf is made of different layers. It has a waxy layer up top called the cuticle. Um, remember, wax is one of our uh, examples of lipids. So that cuticle helps the plant um, to prevent from drying out. And then it has a bunch of different cells inside of the leaf. Each cell is represented by a green blob here. Inside the cells, we have these things called chloroplasts. Chloroplast is where the photosynthesis happens. Remember, you can recognize the shape of a chloroplast because it has these little stacks. It looks like stacks of pancakes or stacks of coins. Um, so photosynthesis occurs in the chloroplasts inside of the leaves. So if a plant um, wanted to perform more photosynthesis or was better adapted to perform photosynthesis, it would probably have bigger, broader leaves. Um, so the more bigger the leaves are, the bigger the leaves are, the better they're able to perform photosynthesis. Also, if you're looking at a cell and notice that it has a lot of these chloroplasts inside of it, um, you'll know that the, those cells are specialized for photosynthesis because photosynthesis happens in those chloroplasts. Now let's look at a recap of photosynthesis. Um, the goal of photosynthesis was to make food for a plant, and the food of a plant is sugar. So the goal is to make sugar, or C6H12O6. And the formula for photosynthesis is we take sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water, mix them together, and we change that into oxygen gas and our glucose, C6H12O6.